Where are you going, Parlay P? We're going college football or we're going NFL? Uh, I tell you what, let's 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 keep with the NFL theme and let's go with my NFL six pack first. I want to start this thing off by saying uh, that these picks are brought to you by the Emporia app. Um, you can check that for all of my premium picks, uh, free picks. Of course, we're going to always have the free picks here on the Big Baby and Friends Thursday night f- uh, football. Well, friends, whatever, Thursday night broadcast. <laughs> but I will also be having those free picks on there and a couple of other things like prop bets and stuff like that. So um, let's get it kicked off the right way. All right. So we're going to stick with the NFL to kick this thing off. I want to go in order. And everybody should know by now, and it's a disclaimer that I'm going to always put out there. But You're betting on the Falcons. You got damn right. I, <laughs> I was right. I actually was wrong last week because I took them two and a half and they somehow won by two. But they won the game. It got that down to good. one and a half by kickoff, though. No, you got hey, it. Yeah, it, it did. If you waited you, until no, kickoff, no you offense still here, right? You still but if, you somebody, if somebody wanted to fucking make money outside of taking your picks, they could also just fade your Falcons picks for the whole year. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> and you're either going to – either the Falcons are going to have a winning record. But, see, I don't bet on them also every week. I don't. Man, but, I ain't never heard a big line in my life. Hey, you took, you took three weeks off, JP. He didn't bet the Falcons two of them. And I bet and, him last week. And how well has – I meant to say this, bro. How well has this man done in the last two weeks that he hasn't bet the Falcons? Well – but I think I deserve a little tip for that, actually, because I've been telling him to stop betting the Falcons for two years. I said, bro, look, do you look, realize how many $100,000 parlays you lose on the Falcons? Look, they've, they've cost me greatly in the past, that's for sure. Um, but we're not here to talk it's about the past. We're here it's it's about an abusive the boy for He just keeps going back. We're here oh to talk God. about the future. But I'm on the Falcons this week, and not because I'm a homer. And not because I'm biased, but because the Panthers aren't a good team. And we knew this when they were 3-0. and They've lost four in a row. The Falcons also have not won a home game this year. The Falcons are coming together. They're playing really well. And if they can win this game, not only do they get above 500, they have a date looming with the Saints the very next week that I know it sounds crazy to say, Falcons fans, this might be for that final wild card spot. I mean, that's who it's coming down to, Saints, Falcons, and Vikings. That's who it's going to be down to for that final spot. As of today, that is who's in that seat. It's That is that spot for that final spot, and they could very well take it. So I like them against Carolina. Uh, Sam Darnold's washed. He's finished. They want Deshaun Watson, and Matt Rule doesn't want to be there if they can't get Deshaun Watson. So we'll leave that at that. Um, next Falcons game, on the money line? Or the spread? Uh, Falcons money line. We're not even going to play around with the points this week. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. Two and a half doesn't cut it, apparently. You is going to love this. Let me get the Pittsburgh Steelers plus three and a half against the Cleveland Browns. I know that uh, Kareem Hunt is definitely out. I don't know if Chubb is going to be back, and I'm pretty certain that Baker is not playing. Give me the Steelers. This is a team they probably had this game circled on their schedule since the season got underway because of how they lost to them in the playoffs. I like the idea of them at, at a bare minimum covering plus three and a half, but I also think that they'll win out right. But we're just going to, for the sake of the betting purposes, take them at the plus three and a half. Three, plus three and a half. And so uh, I do like them there. I think the defense shows up in a big way. And if it's anything like the Denver Broncos game, they probably should cover that spread uh, if they were the favorite at three and a half, to be totally honest with you. Uh, next game, uh, I'm riding on the major parlay train with this one. I love the Washington football team at the Denver Broncos. I think that that's a team that, like the Carolina Panthers, they were a, a faux 3-0 and team. They're really not that good. They just lost to a bunch of backups in Cleveland. Uh, Odell Beckham had two catches. Fuck him for my fantasy team, by the way. But uh, we'll leave fantasy out of this for now. But fuck him. Dead ass. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take the Washington football team. I think that they've got enough pieces and maybe the defense against a the lesser offense can finally put together that dominant defense that we saw last year, because those same guys are still there. Landon Collins is still there. Um, Young still there. They're, these guys are still there. Wait. So they're still there. They're all still there. I think that they finally put a game together and uh, they get the job done on the money line. Next game. Herb, don't get too excited just because you got a W in London. Um, 
I think that Seattle, a team that I had predicted probably wouldn't win a game, has a great chance of winning this game. Yeah, Gino, I love Seattle. A little bit more comfortable. Um, they're at home again. They had a they played a good game against the Saints. They just, you know, they didn't do enough to win it. Uh, I like them on the money line against the Jaguars. I just oh, think that's that, weak, man. Take a spread. I didn't want to do it. Give me the money line. The money line's that good. It's that good money. It's minus 185. I'll take that. Because they, the, they could very, the spread is three and a half. So, like, they very well could only win by three, but they'll win the game. And yeah. so that's all I care about. They're going to win the game. Um, so we're going to roll with the Seattle Seahawks on that one, and they might be getting uh, Russ back the very next week. We'll see. That's what they're saying. They're saying he's coming along too great, that they're taking the sling off of his uh, – because yeah, Russell Wilson doesn't go to the club when he gets injured, bro. He's like at home. Yeah, yeah, he's daughter, he's rehab. Eating his vitamins. He's, he's and he's doing everything he can to get back. To getting play. some real he's good they're not goodies. Going to the playoffs and they're gonna have yeah. a losing record. Yeah, he's definitely one two stepping into the goodies. <laughs> next game, next game. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead brother, and, man. and continue to follow the trends of teams that beat the shit out of teams, beat the shit out of teams. I like the Los Angeles Rams minus thirteen and a half at the Houston Texans. They started off well against the Cardinals. Uh, This team is just too talented, and they know that they need to go in there and take care of business. I like an answer. Buying a point there because I got fourteen and a half as my spread. Well, you're buying a point, yeah. And let me. Who who do we got here? I was, I was like queuing up a song. Rams, Rams on the spread versus Texans. The spread is Rams on the spread versus the Texans. Buy the point and get it at thirteen and a half. That way, you get two touchdowns for sure. they should beat the shit out of them. They probably should cover the 14 and a half, too. But for this sake, we're just going to say they win by two touchdowns. So uh, by that point and take the Rams 13 and a half at the Texans. And then for the final game of the NFL, lay, uh, we're going to bring it down to Sunday night. Um, there's been questions of Dak playing, and they've been pretty hot. I've been to Minnesota for a game. They've got a great crowd. Their fans are great. I enjoy the city of Minnesota. Anyone that ever goes there. Make sure you stop at the W Hotel and go to Manny's. It's one of the best steakhouses I've ever been to. Um, give me and the before Minnesota you finish, Vikings remember how terrible line. Kirk Cousins is in prime time. He is, but, hey, I like him here. I think the Cowboys are overdue for a loss. They haven't lost since the first game of the season for any NFL team, which was Thursday night against the Bucks in a close game. I think the Cowboys are for real, but it's time for them to kind of have that game where they don't play well, and I like it at Minnesota. I think that uh, – Dalvin Cook should be a little bit healthier in playing. We know that primetime Kirk Cousins isn't the greatest Kirk Cousins, but these guys, like I said, along with the Falcons and Saints, those are pretty much, as of right now, almost halfway through the year. These are the teams that are fighting for that final spot in the NFC, and this is an important game for them. I like them to get the job done on Sunday night. So you got Vikings in the money line against Dallas? Yes. Wow. So is that six? Yep. That's so it. for Parlay Pete six pack, we got Falcons versus Panthers taking the Falcons on the money line. Steelers plus three and a half against the Browns. Washington football team um, against the Broncos on the money line. We got Seattle money line versus the Jags. Rams minus 13 and a half. We're going to buy a point there versus the Texans. And uh, we're going to take the Vikings money line against the Cowboys. That is correct. We-